Avoiding Ebola, a how-to guide. Ebola, an infectious, deadly disease, is making headlines across the country. While there is no cure for Ebola, you can avoid contracting the illness by using your head. Let's follow little Robert who will show us what you can do to avoid Ebola. Number 1. Avoid Vomit If you come across vomit, especially vomit that is tinged with blood, avoid it. Give the vomit a wide berth. Good job, Robert. Way to go around it. Don't lick the vomit or rub it on your face. This is a surefire way to get a bowler in your system. Number two, avoid feces. Likewise, if you come across runny, bloody stool, be sure to step over it. This way you'll avoid Ebola if the stool is infected. Don't put your face in the diarrhea or rub it directly into your eyes. This can introduce the Ebola virus into your system very quickly. Number three, avoid infected people. If your friend recently came back from a part of Africa that is riddled with Ebola, don't shake his hand. Keep your distance and leave him alone. Especially if he is a doctor exhibiting symptoms of Ebola. It is a bad idea to greet an infected friend by rubbing his face against yours and licking his bloody surgical mask with your naked tongue. That's a bad idea, Robert. Number four, avoid infected syringes. If your friend has a syringe full of blood that is clearly labeled as Ebola, leave it alone. It's a bad idea to touch it because it might contain live Ebola viruses. Taking the syringe full of Ebola-infected blood from your doctor friend and squirting the contents directly into your mouth is a poor idea. You could get infected, and the syringe is not yours. Number 5. Avoid Packages from Africa If you receive an unknown package from Africa, it is best not to open it. You never know what could be inside, and it could be Ebola. But if you do open the mystery box, and you happen to find a dead African bat inside of it, make sure you don't eat it. Oh, Robert, that wasn't very smart of you now, was it? If you follow the advice in this film, and with just a little bit of common sense, you too can avoid Ebola.